God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Surrender to God, and he will do everything for you. Do not fret because of the wicked. Do not envy those who do evil, for they wither quickly like grass and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in the Lord and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in the Lord, he will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to the Lord, trust in him and he will act, so that your justice breaks forth like the light, your cause like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait in patience. Do not fret at the man who prospers, a man who makes evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret, it only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, the patient shall inherit the land. A little longer and the wicked shall have gone. Look at his place, he is not there, but the humble shall own the land and enjoy the fullness of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Surrender to God, and, and he, he will, will do, do everything, everything for, for you. you. Turn away from evil, and learn to do God's will. The Lord will strengthen you if you obey him. The wicked man plots against the just and gnashes his teeth against him. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn. His bow is bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts, and their bows shall be broken to pieces. The just man's few possessions are better than the wicked man's wealth. For the power of the wicked shall be broken, and the Lord will support the just. He protects the lives of the upright. Their heritage will last forever. They shall not be put to shame in evil days. In time of famine, their food shall not fail. But all the wicked shall perish, and all the enemies of the Lord. They are like the beauty of the meadows. They shall vanish. They shall vanish like smoke. The wicked man borrows without repaying. But the just man is generous and gives. Those blessed by the Lord shall own the land, but those he has cursed shall be destroyed. The Lord guides the steps of a man and makes safe the path of one he loves. Though he stumble, he shall never fall, for the Lord holds him by the hand. I was young and now I am old, but I have never seen the just man forsaken, nor his children begging for bread. All the day he is generous and lends, and his children become a blessing. Then turn away from evil and do good, for you shall have a home forever. For the Lord loves justice and will never forsake his friends. The unjust shall be wiped out forever, and the children of the wicked destroyed. The just shall inherit the land. There they shall live forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Turn away from evil, and, and learn, learn to, to do God's, God's will. will. The, the Lord, Lord will strengthen you, if you obey him. him. Wait for the Lord to lead, then follow in his way. The just man's mouth utters wisdom, and his lips speak what is right. The law of his God is in his heart. His steps shall be saved from stumbling. The wicked man watches for the just and seeks occasion to kill him. The Lord will not leave him in his power, nor let him be condemned when he is judged. Then wait for the Lord, keep to his way. It is he who will free you from the wicked, raise you up to possess the land and see the wicked destroyed. I have seen the wicked triumphant, towering like a cedar of Lebanon. I passed by again, he was gone. I searched, he was nowhere to be found. See the just man, mark the upright. For a peaceful man a future lies in store, 
but sinners shall all be destroyed. No future lies in store for the wicked. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Their stronghold in time of distress. The Lord helps them and delivers them and saves them, for their refuge is in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Wait for the Lord to lead, then then follow follow in his his way. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his word to give life to the earth. From the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight and your land espoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have stationed watchmen. Never, by day or by night, shall they be silent. O you who are to remind the Lord, take no rest, and give no rest to him, until he re-establishes Jerusalem and makes of it the pride of the earth. The Lord has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, no more will I give your grain as food to your enemies, nor shall foreigners drink your wine for which you toiled. But you who harvest the grain shall eat it, and you shall praise the Lord, You who gather the grapes shall drink the wine in the courts of my sanctuary. Pass through, pass through the gates, prepare the way for the people. Build up, build up the highway, clear it of stones, raise up a standard over the nations. See, the Lord proclaims to the ends of the earth, say to daughter Zion, your Savior comes. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. They shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and you shall be called frequented, a city that is not forsaken. The nations shall see your justice, all kings shall witness your glory. And the Lord himself will give you a new name by which you shall be called. You will be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a kingly diadem in the hand of your God. And the Lord himself will give you a new name by which you shall be called. From a conference to her spiritual daughters by St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. I will tell you what is my own great help. I once read or heard that an interior life means but the continuation of our Savior's life in us, that the great object of all his mysteries is to merit for us the grace of his interior life and communicate it to us, it being the end of his mission to lead us into the sweet land of promise a life of constant union with himself. And what was the first rule of our dear Savior's life? You know it was to do his Father's will. Well, 
Then, the first end I propose in our daily work is to do the will of God. Secondly, to do it in the manner he wills. And thirdly, to do it because it is his will. I know what his will is by those who direct me. Whatever they bid me do, if it is ever so small in itself, is the will of God for me. Then do it in the manner he wills it, not sowing an old thing as if it were new, or a new thing as if it were old, not fretting because the oven is too hot, or in a fuss because it is too cold. You understand, not flying and driving because you are hurried, not creeping like a snail because no one pushes you. Our dear Savior was never in extremes. The third object is to do his will because God wills it. That is, to be ready to quit at any moment and to do anything else to which you may be called. You think it very hard to lead a life of such restraint unless you keep your eye of faith always open. Perseverance is a great grace. To go on gaining and advancing every day, we must be resolute and bear and suffer as our blessed forerunners did. Which of them gained heaven without a struggle? What are our real trials? By what name shall we call them? One cuts herself out a cross of pride, another one of causeless discontent, another one of restless impatience or peevish fretfulness. But is the whole any better than children's play if looked at with the common eye of faith? Yet we know certainly that our God calls us to a holy life, that he gives us every grace, every abundant grace. And though we are so weak of ourselves, this grace is able to carry us through every obstacle and difficulty. But we lack courage to keep a continual watch over nature. And therefore, year after year, with our thousand graces, multiplied resolutions, and fair promises, we run around in a circle of misery and imperfections. After a long time in the service of God, we come nearly to the point from whence we set out, and perhaps with even less ardor for penance and mortification than when we began our consecration to him. You are now in your first set out. Be above the vain fears of nature and efforts of your enemy. You are children of eternity. Your immortal crown awaits you, and the best of fathers waits there to reward your duty and love. You may indeed so hear in tears, but you may be sure there to reap in joy. The time is growing short, so we must rejoice as though we were not rejoicing. We must work in the world yet without becoming immersed in it. For the world as we know it is passing away. We have not adopted the spirit of the world. For the world as we know it is passing away. Let us pray. Lord God, you blessed Elizabeth Seton with gifts of grace as wife and mother, educator and foundress, so that she might spend her life in service to your people. Through her example and prayers, may we learn to express our love for you in love for our fellow men and women. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the and Lord. give him thanks.